أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين A few words I appreciate your coming after this long vacation I would say I had to visit Turkey my friends everyone attend the the uh, international meeting, present a paper with my daughter Marwa, then came back. Alhamdulillah. I appreciate your taking time coming to this Majalla class. Uh, this is summer time, but uh, still, uh, inshallah, we will continue Saturdays 12.30 up to fourth time. Uh, this is Najella, uh, which I uh, and I appreciate very much the opportunity to be able to teach kind of quite details, uh, perhaps unique in the world, uh, the Majalla. Uh, we hope and pray that your attendance my humble effort will be accepted by Allah and we will be meeting Javdat Ahmed Javdat Pasha who was instrumental in preparing this Majalla and also his Andrew and his commission uh, who will be really uh, who shared and joined to this uh, effort uh, producing, including Ibn Abidin, which is one of the really important uh, Hanafi faqih who produced that humongous book, Radul Mukhtar, and uh, Father and Son, which I very much. Uh, would like that be translated professionally into English, developed into Islamic studies uh, as fifth part, low part. So I hope and pray that our effort, your efforts, will be accepted by Allah in this uh, field. I have a story, maybe interesting story, before I engage going into details. I think 1999, when my daughter uh, Marwa was elected to parliament, uh, I was called from Turkey to my family members, my wife, uh, to rush to Turkey, to go to Turkey. I was here that time to attend the swearing ceremony in the parliament, which did not take place. So I grabbed from my books most needed ones and made a few packages and took those books with me to Turkey. 1999. This is nine years, ten years ago. So then happened what happened. I came back. Uh, always I missed one of the books in that package left in Turkey. And definitely being teach, be, beginning teaching the Majalla here, I always needed that book, which was in those packages taken back to Turkey and left over there. But nobody could find that book, can find that book, could find, because it was in Ottoman Turkish, 
not everybody may read or command Turkish and things. Also, I was told by my family members, my daughters, my family members that with other packages of books, which all were in basement of the house I have apartment, all because of the sale, because, because of the, not sell, sell, sell in Turkish and Arabic, which is flood water rain. So all became wet. So kind of they did not want me to see my books. Uh, by the way, my other books and like 30 packages, 40 packages, these are all half of the books. I have more books somewhere else in Turkey in addition to books I have here in, at my home. So too many books kind of, too many packages lying over there wet. So, but I insisted to see those books this time. And they took me down to the basement and opened the door. So I saw 30, maybe 35 big packages and uh, some of them really bad stayed like that. I, they did not want to deal how to deal with these books. But I was more interested to find the book I was missing. So first package was half open next to the door. So I opened or next to them at the bottom and said at the bottom I pulled the book. This is the book. This is the book. Nine years, ten years lying over there. I was missing this book. So it was that I took that upstairs to my apartment, cleaned a little bit, then put on the balcony to dry. But I did not want that to be too much dry. Then book becomes this book becomes like that. The cover, the binder cannot hold. The pages inflated something like that. I mean, I know a lot of experience. So half dry, but not sticking to each other. So then. After two days, I took him and stuck him into, into uh, the plastic bags and brought here. This is the book. Then processed a little bit here. This is the original. This is the original. This is blessed book because this book will be will do shafa. Will do intercession. We'll ask Allah, give me, be forgiven by Him, by you, because this is book. Books are better than human beings. Books could be visited. Books could be blessed to me. Quran is book. Okay, don't let me do a literature piece of it. <laughs> piece of literature about book, 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 yes. So this is the book. The name of this book still, look, you see how difficult it is. Uh, I mean, I put a cover because this, this uh, original cloth is leaving the, leaving the cover. Or to steal that or something. And by the way, in between, I keep some notes. This is my tradition. All my books are full like that. Some of the notes and history. This is the history. 
this is Sinavasta Dojmanara Muhtaram Satyanarna, the people of the campus residence when I was dean from those days. Somebody distributed this one. I found this interesting. I did not throw it into trash with some notes at the back. History. Always I keep, I keep, I keep things. So it is, my books are full of notes and memories or like that. Now, in this case, in this case now, this is Mir'atu Majalla, the book. Mir'atu Majalla. Mir'atu of Majalla. Thank you, thank you, please let me grab here. I will, I will, I will. Mir'atu Majalla. The name of the book. Mir'at means mirror in Arabic. Majalla, Majalla, this is Majalla, Majalla class. So, Mir'atu Majalla, this is with notes, with Arabic, with explanation, explanation. So this is Mas'ud Afendi, Svork, Mir'atu Majalla. He is from Kaisari, Kaisari. This is a city in Turkey where from President of Turkey today, Abdullah Gül is. He is from that city. This is a traditional old, uh, very uh, I mean, before Ottomans, they were Byzantine Empire, time city, city, Kaiser, Kaiser, Kaiseria, Kaiser. Kaiser is, Turkish word is Caesar. Caesar, you give to Caesar, but deserves that Latin, Caesar, this king. So that same word, name of the city, because city was established before Islam, before Turks uh, were there. So somebody from that area who was Mufti in that area by the name Mas'ud Afendi wrote this book, which is commentary on Majalla. Majalla, commentary on Majalla. Now, this is, I will use this one in my class. This is in Ottoman Turkish. Not everybody can read. I doubt there are more than like uh, 10 people in U.S. who could read. Maybe in Harvard in some way specialized in Ottoman system maybe. But uh, other than that, I don't think many uh, people could read. But understand this is old Ottoman uh, Turkish uh, literature. This, in addition, also I have Ruhul Majalla, another one here by Haji Rashid Pasha, which I used to have this one before. So in addition to Ruhul Majalla, now we, I have Mirat Majalla about which I told a story. I am very happy to have this opportunity to sit with you and to deliver this um, agenda class here in U.S. It is an honoring, it is very interesting destiny for someone, Turkish originally me, who is born in Turkish, in a village, and sitting like that, uh, brothers and sisters from different parts of the world here, and me being different parts of the world, and uh, all being 
immigrant here in another country and studying Magyar language. I see some new brothers here, so a little introduction about Magyar Magella is, an introduction is for the brothers and sisters. Whatever is recorded must, I think, could be found in our website, INT's website. When you click my classes, Magella is one of them, and you can follow up. This Magella, first Magella is an Ottoman code of Islamic law related with transactions. It is fiqh, all fiqh. So I know some of you are interested in learning fiqh. This is fiqh, Islamic law. But this book, this code, is related with the transaction, buying and selling and things like that, not wudu. It is not related with Dubu, it is not related with Salah, it is not related with fasting. Haibadat worship is not included here. This is, this Majalla, full name is Majalla'i Ahkamu Adliya. Justice rules, rules of justice code code of, of the thing related with rules of justice. Name. But this is code. Code, I know in English may mean different meanings. It is, its Latin is codex. Cod, codex. That means compendium of law, law, rules and regulations, a book, law. There is family code of Texas. What that means, a, a law which covers all family things in that big main mother law. There may be other small laws, but this is mother law, code. Code means codex, code. Codex means a book which covers main part of the laws and rules and principles in the area that Codex belongs to. So this Magella is prepared 1860s. began to be prepared part by part, 1860s, during Abdul Majid Khan time, Ottoman Empire. Because that time, Western influence began already on Ottoman Empire and Muslim lands, Ottoman Empire was in three continents that time. In Europe, Romania, Bulgaria, Greek, Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, Albania, all were a part of Ottomans. In north, from Egypt to Morocco. Morocco was not included, but all Algeria, Tunis, Libya was under Ottoman Empire, a part of Ottoman Empire. In east, all Arabian Peninsula, Iraq, Palestine, Syria, and everything were a part of Yemen and uh, Saudi Arabia, a part of Ottoman Empire. Pakistan, India was not a part of Ottoman Empire, but they had relations. 
So Ottoman Empire, one of the biggest empires Muslims had in the history. Two big empires in the history. One, Roman Empire, almost Ottomans, they Ottomans grabbed at the same land up to Afghanistan, up to Pakistan. In Pakistan, in Afghanistan, there are remnants of Alexander the Great's military people, military people, original. There are, we have, we have community members here. They are great, great, great fathers are Greek, who were a part of military when two with Alexander the Great to Afghanistan, to Pakistan, then left over there, became Muslims. Now they are living here with us. Yes. History is history. History is history. So, biggest two empires. Roman Empire. Ottoman. Ottomans took over Roman Empires. Smashed by the Entan Empire. Eastern part. It became Western part to, to take over. But the life of Fatih the Conqueror, he died very young. So because of that, he conquered Istanbul, Constantinople, but he could not conquer Rome. So Rome and Italy, south of Italy, not included in Ottomans. So big empire. Ottoman Empire. Ottoman Empire time, at the end, like 19th century, middle 19th century, West began to influence. There were people who studied in the schools, Christian schools in Istanbul, in Beirut. Beirut. Beirut was the center of legality, Roman Empire time. Istanbul, Constantinople was of center of legality, laws, producing laws, Roman Empire time. So when Ottomans took over, Istanbul, became center of Islamic studies and Khilafah and uh, capital of Ummah in Istanbul. Same history, history is to perform same thing after. Omar, Caliph Omar, was brave when he, before he became Muslim, but before, before, brave, brave man, when he became Muslim, he was still brave, he still said, character is character, whether Muslim, not Muslim, actually. Yeah. Good man is good man. Before Islam, after Islam, I mean, good man is good man. Capable man is capable man. Before Islam, after Islam, same thing. So, because of that, this had been produced in Istanbul. West began to influence on Muslim lands, definitely on Ottoman empires. They have been targeted by Western powers at that time. Crusaders who wanted to conquer to go to Palestine, to grab the Palestine. How many times? 10, 11, 20, 10, 11 times crusaders attempted. In many of them who stood in front of crusaders are coming from west by foot. Some sheep, but by foot. So they came to Ottoman Empire land, 
who stood in, in, in their front terms, Ottoman Empire. They did not give up Palestine. Mecca, Medina, and Palestine, everything, they did not give up. Two, they did not give them to 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 other side. Who did? Ottomans. Ottomans were mainly Turks, but comprised 18 big different nations, like Arabs, like Kurds, like many, 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 I mean many, because they were so tolerant, so capable in management, they were like friends, like brothers, like sisters. They were not fighting with each other for racism, 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 cronism. They were not. So that is why they were big. Brothers, 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 sisters, brothers, brothers. They had like federative system like America has. You are free, okay, you are free, let us be together. You are free, you are free, let us be together. No dictation, no dictatorship. They had minister level people who were Armenians, not Muslim. Greek, not Muslim. You are capable men who want to serve the country. Sure. You are best, sure, no problem. One needs to acknowledge the, the talent, the capability of the people. So this codex has been prepared that time by as as reaction to Western influence. 1850s somebody masonic club free masonism some of you if you know you know if you don't know there are groups of people secret organization this is historic like 200 years 300 years 400 years old establishing brotherhood between jews Christians, Muslims, business relation, brotherhood, irrespective of religion. Religion is not important. Don't bring your religion. Let us be brothers. Let us be shared. Let us be, be export to you. You import. Let me import from you. International, strong business, business influential organization. These are the secret organizations who plant top people, quality people, destroyed Khilafe. They, because they had money, they had capability, they got the members from Muslim lands, Muslim communities, like big generals, like big politicians. They supported each other and everything. They climbed up. Secret organization, free Masonism, Masonism, Mason. It comes from King Suleiman Salomon building temple in Jerusalem. So it has some historic Jewish thing. So Mason by carpenter building. It comes, word comes from them. It is a Jewish influence, Jewish interest. There are, free, there are Freemasons lodge here in, in, in Dallas. Yes, they have a building in downtown Dallas and also in Richardson. Now here is a little different. They have hospitals. And they are very, uh, but but in history, in terms of Muslims, always they they had big influence Muslim lands. First, 
educated in French in English schools, in, in Lebanon, in Istanbul, in Egypt. First people always grabbed by them, young boys, like 100 years ago, 200 years ago, given scholarship by churches, by organizations, supported by West. So they are the ones who first wrote, uh, like published a newspaper, Western system in Muslim lands, then promoted democracy, but their democracy meant let us destroy unity of Khilafah, okay? They are the ones who pushed, oh, you are Algerian. What, what is your relation with Ottomans? Oh, you need to take care of them, yourself. So you are Libyan, you are Egyptian. So Egypt began to dissent Ottomans. Egypt, one of the first ones in Islamic history. Then Lawrence of Arabia, somebody knew Arabic, English. So he worked, trained them, and then Saudi Arabia, Arabian Peninsula, he traveled and uh, clans and the clanism and tribal sheikhdoms, he knew Arabic very well, he had enough money, supported in Egypt by Arab Bureau. Now these are in archives, you can study. Because after 100 years or after 60 years, you go back, get the documents in archives. In Washington, D.C., there is an archive, the National Archive. Why don't you go study over there? You can apply, you can go, you can sit, study documents related 100 years ago. American embassy or English embassy send reports, secret reports about your village. Where are you coming? From South Africa, from Pakistan? There reports over there. Muhammad Ali, Shavkat Ali, Yusuf Ali, Iqbal, Muhammad Iqbal. What did they say? What they are doing? Because states watch important things, what is going on against them. Of course. States any state, sir, ladies, any state have two sides. One is open, one is secret. Open, everybody says democracy, human rights, well, respect. But hidden, what's this guy? This is doing something. It may harm us. What he is doing? Secret is different. Secret doesn't say you respect or this is his country, their country, this is human being, really, I don't care, I am not going to watch. doesn't say like that. So, these archives and everything. Anyhow, these, they began to translate Napoleon Code, Civil Code, Civil of Napoleon, this is a law code, France today they are using, I have that text, French text with me, Napoleon Code Civil, into Turkish 1640s to translate. So this became a reaction to that. Muslim scholars, Ahmed Cevdet Pasha, top one, he said, what? I am going to write exactly the systematic of, auto, of European systematic way of accord based on fiqh, based on Sharia Islam. So he began to write this one with his friends, Enjumen, Enjumen Commission Group Committee. This is the, in two centuries, best, most original Islamic legal law produced in Muslim world. Not in Egypt, not in Pakistan, not anywhere. I am lawyer. Some of you may not know. I am very interested what North African Muslims did, what Pakistan did, 
all constitutions of Pakistan from first one when established about Islamic law, the constitution law, the laws in Iran, in Persia, I have all of them, I follow. I am almost 40 plus years I follow what is going on. I have a lot of interest, so I know. This is the best book in Codex Code. We studied this part, this book. This is 1700 plus articles, this Magellan. But main 100 of them are general articles. Awaid Kulia, Maxims in law, maxims of maxim. Maxim means like legal, proverbial legal sentence. Proverbial legal sentence. Sentence, big sentence which covers a lot of other rules under sentences. One hundred of them, we studied them. After one hundred, we, we studied also quite a detail. Now, in ten minutes, it was long introduction, but needed one for new people. So now I am going to continue my subject. The subject is sale, selling and buying. This is big subject, bea in Arabic, selling and buying. All other transactions other legal contracts, everything is is referred to payer to buying and selling. Payer, payer, payer. Buy in English comes from this verb. But payer means to sell, buy means to get, meaning change. So buy is, is Arabic originally, it is not English. So buying and selling, the name of the thing. Now we are in a chapter, article, small chapter, article 230. This is Majalla. Let me write Majalla here. Majalla. Short. Majalla. Short. Majalla i Ahkam Adliya. Long name, but Majalla. Short. Okay. Now, what is this chapter? This chapter is what is included in selling and buying, what is not included if not mentioned. So, I mean, just let me give an example because some of you are new. If I sell book, is cover included? I'm selling this book to you. Sold the book, you pay. Then can I take cover away? Can I movable take cover? Movable. Sticking one. Without mentioning it. I mean, we are, if we mention, it could be anything. Okay, no problem. But if it, I don't mention, this is excluded. This is included. If I don't say it, what is included, what is not included in selling, sir? Buy it. This is subject. This is everyday issue. By the way, Magella and Islamic law, Islam in action. You cannot be Muslim in the mosque by praying namaz only. You must be Muslim in business, in buying selling. Buying selling you do every day hundred times. Buying, selling, saying salam, how are you, others, I mean you are Muslim is way of life. That means each, I mean, when we are sleeping, we are Muslim. When we are working, we are Muslim. When we are 
uh, silent we are Muslim, when we are jumping up and down we are Muslim. For that you need to know to apply those rules related with Islam. So this is life. I mean, this is Islam. Of course, this is Islam. So our subject is, what is that? What is included? I sold a house. There are furniture inside. Included, not included. There are books. There are shelves. Walls, windows, keys, locks. Some of them are movable. Some of them are sticking, sticking. And some of the things are still which one. So that is the subject. Very important. So, first article, I mean, 230 article is, I will just, uh, I, I will not write uh, on the board. Anything, everything, which is according to her, Arf, Ade, is included, it is included in sale. This is Arf. Ade. If you are Urdu speaker something, or you may know Adet. Adet you may know. Rolf, tradition. Adet, tradition. It is merciful. Both of them are, both of them are Quranic words. I teach in my class Islamicity more, Quran more, Hadith more. The words I write here, if you know, you can read better Quran. Yes, I teach other things in my class. I teach Arabic in my my fiqh. I teach how to read Quran in my class. If you if you know Rarf, you know Rarf. Better Ain Rafa. Then, ah, you may become Ve'mur bil Urfi. It is mentioned in Quran. You can be better integrated education. Integrated education. All education must be Islamized, Islamically directed oriented. Math teacher must teach math, but connected to Islam. No other education is haram. Other education, no other other way is not acceptable. Because we are created by Allah, we are living in Allah in Allah's land, by Allah for Allah in Allah. Without Allah, we cannot live. How an educator teaches something secular, meaning not connected to Allah? No, 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 no teacher. That teaching is doing haram. That school is haram. Prohibited. Then you will have next generation confused if you teach like that. Confused, their brain is mathematically good, scientifically good, but not connected in Allah. So the guy goes this way, the guy goes this way, goes this way, because Allah is guidance, guidance, Hidayah, 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 Buddha, Hidayah, Hidayah, Buddha, Buddha, guidance. We have in Turkish a proverb, if you educate someone without guidance, he may become a good thief, good thief because knowledgeable, he can steal minaret, minaret is so big, you know, near the mosque, he may be able to hide whole minaret, I mean minaret cannot be hide, but he can steal, he can hide. 
because he's knowledgeable. This is a problem. Ummah raised people, I mean, in Muslim lands, Muslim countries, everywhere, well educated, but not hidayah, not connected. So that is why they are, they became dictator in their land. They became anti-Islam in their land. Everything has historic and sociological explanations, so don't jump up and down. Jump, jumping up and down will not solve the problem. You need to know the real reasons and eliminate. So, now what is my sentence? When you sell something, According to earth, tradition, tradition, and the tradition, okay? I mean, earth and tradition, or culture in English, culture, culture of that culture. Whatever in culture is included, people understand, that is included without mentioning. When you sell a horse, you are selling a horse. If culture says saddle is included, saddle included. If horse business says rope or rain is included, rain is included. So, Tradition, other, this is tradition, tradition, tradition is very important in Islamic law. So we, sometimes we are against traditional tradition. What tradition? In, in, in worshipping, yes. In worshipping what the Prophet said, what the uh, practice, yes. We don't follow like this tradition or that tradition. But in transaction, tradition and culture, what is tradition, what is culture? Historically done. From the time we may not know, Ancestors are doing the same thing, the same thing, practicing something. The source is not known when, how, but it is accepted in that land, in that profession, as practice, as understood. Tradition, two kinds. One is general, everybody, human beings, or everybody understands whatever same. One is specific. If shoemakers means lace, lace included, rope is included, something, that's okay. Soil is included in that shoe. This is specific for shoemakers, shoemakers. So there are professional specificity in the area of business or local. In this city, in this small city, people mean this one. In another city, people mean different. That is okay. So everybody needs to know. Elders, business people need to know this. Now, once more, I am repeating, when you sell something according to culture, profession, what is historically understood, be included, is included, without mentioning. If you mention, no problem. If you mention, you can it is out, it is in, no problem. We are not speaking about mentioning, clearly mentioning. So, 
her father. There is a rule we studied before for the new brothers and sisters. Adat muhachamdur. This is majalla. Adat muhachamdur. Adat muhacham. This is Ottoman Turkish. Adat, if you are interested. Adat, adat tradition muhacham, hacham. Tradition, culture, what is historically accepted, done, 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 is hakam, hakam, arbitrator. I mean, criteria to rule by. That is the criteria you will follow and rule. Judge will, will take into consideration how the judge may not know. He will collect elders. Honest, knowledgeable elders ask them what is culture, what is the tradition here, what is Adam. So they, when they tell expert witness, then he will decide or she will decide accordingly. Because Hakam, Hakam means arbitrator, rule, rule, ruler. Hakam, Adat Muhakam. This is one of the maxims of Majalla we passed before. What? Now, after having said this, I will read English translation. New students, you can get this book, the Majalla, from Amazon. This, is, this will be very good for you in your life, if you are interested. This is not a must, but if you are interested in my class, if you have a little scholarly inclination to know this Majalla, English, we criticized a lot. One of my classes quite a time I am teaching is contribution to Islamic law, criticism of this English. I wish somebody will translate. I don't know how that will happen. Once more, with the notes, with the points, I am saying here. I am saying here. This somebody, this is translated almost 200 years ago but republished in Pakistan, in, in Malaysia, a professor in Malaysia I International Islamic University wrote an arti article, uh, wrote introduction. He praised a lot. Uh, okay, good. Then, without, he did not know, he did not know Ottoman Turkish, he doesn't know nothing, but he, he did not criticize the translation. So, I send him emails to, to two of his addressing, addresses, I mean, appreciating what he has done and criticizing what he thinking, what he must have done as a scholar, as an academician. No answers. People don't answer. But excuse me, in the hereafter we will meet. Hereafter is a very good place. You be straight. You don't make mistake. People are making mistake and harming you. You don't harm them. You are gaining. Your reward is bag of bag Back, back of your reward is getting more and more. Don't worry. Don't change your attitude toward anyone. You do be, you be good, but hereafter you will drag them. So now, what this book is saying? 230 articles. There is included in the sale. First section, section first, section four is about 
the things which are and are not included in a sale without being mentioned explicitly. This is titles, subtitle of the subchapter. Now, 230. There is included in the sale, when not mentioned, everything which by the custom, are the tradition custom, of the town is comprised in the thing sold. In Arabic, there is no town. For example, in English, they added town. That is no, no town in, in, in Ottoman Turkish. Urfi beldada mebi an shamil oldu her shey min gayri zik beyda daakhil olur. This is article law. But in translation, they added. So, English wise, I mean, modern day of English nowadays, there is included, must be, it is included, something. There is included in the sale, when not mentioned, everything which, by the custom of the town, is comprised in the thing sold. I don't think this is a good English expression, English-wise, legal text, and reflecting the main sentence, Ottoman Turkish. I don't think so. So this is my thing. I think I will conclude here. Next time we will begin two hundred thirty one. Two hundred thirty one article. Thank you very much for coming next week, Saturday. We will meet inshallah.